Top 10 Most Beautiful Cities in Townsend, Mozambique Hello Displorers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Displo and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall visit and take you around the beautiful country of Mozambique, showing you the most beautiful cities in Mozambique. Mozambique is a country located in Southern Africa, bordered by the Indian Ocean to the east, Tanzania to the north, Malawi and Zambia to the northwest, Zimbabwe to the west, and Eswatini in South Africa to the southwest. The sovereign state is separated from the Comoros, Mayotte, and Madagascar by the Mozambique Channel to the east. The only official languages of Mozambique is Portuguese, which is spoken mostly as a second language by about half the population along native languages such as Makua, Sena, and Swahili. The country of about 29 million is composed of overwhelmingly Bantu people and mostly Christians with significant minorities following Islam and African traditional religions. Mozambique is a member of the United Nations, the African Union, the Commonwealth of Nations, the Organization of the Islamic Cooperation, the Community of Portuguese Language Countries, the Non-Aligned Movement, the Southern African Development Committee, and Eastern Observer at La Francophonie. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Mozambique has seen a recent surge in tourism which can be mostly attributed to the recent growth and development of most of its cities. With a plethora to choose from in terms of infrastructural development, natural beauty, and environmental conditions, here are the top 10 most beautiful cities in Mozambique. Number 10. Matola Matola is the largest suburb of the Mozambique capital Maputo, adjacent to its westernmost site, and the nation's second most populated city. Matola has a port and also the biggest industrial area in Mozambique. Matola has petroleum refineries and diverse industries, which manufacture products like soap, cement, and agricultural materials. In November 2014, South Korean car company Hyundai Motor Company opened a plant in Matola, which manufactures the Hyundai i10 and Hyundai Ascent. Besides the commercial and industrial high notes of the city, it is one of the greenest cities in the country, with houses mostly spotted with trees and plants to keep a healthy environment. Even though Matola is not a typical tourist destination, the homely nature of it, coupled with cuisine of the city, is all the warmth to attract you to it. Number 9. Nampula Nampula is the capital city of the Nampula province in the northeast in Mozambique. Also known as the capital of the north, Nampula is the center of business in northern Mozambique with several western-style hotels, restaurants and shopping centers. Displays of typical Mozambican art are on show in the city museum of this provincial capital, while the cathedral is a remarkable building with twin towers and a massive dome. This is the third largest town in Mozambique and is quite modern with banks, hotels, tennis clubs, supermarkets and shops. Although not a designated tourist area, there are a lot of places that are worth a visit like a museum, mosques and fascinating cathedrals, such as the imposing cathedral the Nosa Senhora da Quintzayo, which makes the city quite catchy. Number 8. Bilen Bilen, also known as Praia do Bilen, is a town in southern Mozambique, lying 140 kilometers northeast of Maputo in the province of Gaza. Even though Belen is just a town, its beauty and sport on beaches are things that you cannot bypass when talking about beautiful places to visit in Mozambique. Located at the banks of the Wemje Lagoon on the Mozambican Channel, it is known as a beach resort. It is noted for its calm and clear lagoon. The Wemje Lagoon, giving way to the pounding Indian Ocean beyond Tall Dunes, is reported to be the closest beach destination to the city of Johannesburg in neighboring South Africa. Popular tourist activities in Belen include sailing, canoeing, windsurfing, snorkeling, paragliding, kitesurfing, and many others. Number 7. Beira Beira is the capital and largest city of the Sofala province in the center region of Mozambique, which is also the fourth largest city by population in Mozambique. After Maputo, Matola, and Nampula, being a coastal city, it holds the regionally significant port of Beira, which acts as a gateway for both the central interior portion of the country as well as the landlocked nations of Zimbabwe, Zambia, and Malawi. This busy port city possesses the interesting architecture of Portuguese colonialism, which houses some of the banks, hotels, and shops. Cosmopolitan pavements, caves, and restaurants invariably serve large juicy tiger, prawns, and cheap crayfish that Mozambique is famous for. In the heart of the city is the square of Lago do Municipio, surrounded by old colonial buildings, terraces, tea rooms, and shops. The cathedral, erected in 1925, was built partly from stones from the 16th century fort of Sofala, which has since then been submerged under the sea. Other typical colonial-style buildings of note are Casa Portugal and the magnificent Casa Infante de Sagres. Number 6. Inhambane Further north from the capital is the province of the same name, is the city of Inhambane. 
A Mozambique city established as a Portuguese trading post in 1534 and one of the oldest European settlements in Southern Africa. The formal slave trade port is one of the most attractive Mozambican towns with grand colonial architecture and also serving as a springboard for access to the famous Tofu and Bara beach resorts nearby as well as the Coconut Bay and Jangamo beach. Tofu and surrounding areas have excellent diving resorts with good reefs and plentiful marine life including reef sharks, homeback whales and whale sharks in season. In the town, visitors can go sightseeing at the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Conception, the Governor's House, the Mosque, the train station and the local markets or sail on a boat across the harbour. Number 5. Quileman Quileman is the capital of Zambezi and an essential port on a wide river called Rios dos Baucinas, so named by Vasco da Gama late in the 1400s. The city is famous for its coastal features as well as several restaurants, trendy street cafes and hotels on the riverfront which makes it a hotspot for visitors. Like most of northern Mozambique, the Quileman is mostly Islamic and mosques can be found dotted around the city. Interesting sites include the old Auster Cathedral, circa 1785, the governor's residence and an ornate modern mosque. Within reach are several hot water springs and the tea plantations of the Guru Mountains which can be cruised through in the most favorite sub-Saharan temperature ever. Number 4. Tete Known for hosting two of the four bridges crossing the river in Mozambique, Tete is the provincial capital of Mozambique and one of the hottest parts of the country and where the impressive Tete Suspension Bridge crosses the Zambezi River. The one kilometer long Tete Suspension Bridge crosses the Zambezi River and is a vital connection on the major highway linking northern and southern part of Mozambique and also Zimbabwe and Malawi. Beside the natural beauty compressed in the city, just 30 kilometers from its Baroma church, a magnificent Jesus church built at the end of the 19th century, and the Kabora Basa Dam, just some 150 kilometers from Tete, which is the second largest in Africa, exist. Number 3. Pemba Pemba is a port town and the best place in Mozambique to visit if you enjoy natural beauty on the peninsula, jolting into a wide bay with coral reefs close to shore. The old town contains several traditional markets where souvenirs include silverware. From Pemba, tourists can hire a boat to visit the lovely Igbo island or enjoy the busy city with an enormous harbour, banks, patisseries, supermarkets and restaurants. The cosmopolitan centre lies in the bay where the bush meets the beach. Forests of baobab trees stretch down to the water where many sailboats can be seen making their way across the bay. Pemba has a massive market which stretches for 2 kilometers with stalls that sell absolutely everything. The old town has several interesting traditional markets, and visitors can watch the silversmiths at work and head off to lovely beaches, namely Wimby and Farol, to enjoy snorkeling and diving along coral reefs with superb views of the marine life. Number 2. Angoche Formerly called Antonio Enes after 19th century Portuguese journalist and colonial administrator Antonio Jose Enes, Angoche is a city of Nampula province in Mozambique and as of 1998 municipality too. An old Muslim trading center, Angoche is one of the earliest settlements in Mozambique and an important gold and ivory trading post. In the 19th century, Angoche became the focus of the clandestine slave trade, which continued until the 1860s, when the town was attacked by the Portuguese, while effective Portuguese administration was not established until several decades later. The attack marked the beginning of Angoche's downfall and the town never regained its former status, but then still, Angoche is a quiet district capital many reminders of its past glories. Besides the island offshore the town, Angoche is a great place to experience both the cuisine and the dilapidation of an ancient glorious place. Number 1. Maputo Maputo, the capital city of Mozambique, is an Indian ocean port with preserved Portuguese colonial architecture located to the south of the country. Formerly known as Lourenço Marques, it evokes much of the atmosphere of its Portuguese colonial past with its wide streets lined with acacia and jacaranda trees. Many turns of the century buildings are in the downtown. Jacaranda lined Baxia neighborhood. With a blend of both ancient and modern juxta of exquisite structures, this city by the sea known for its colors, political structure, cleanliness and monumental sites stands out amongst African sites. There you have it, explorers. Those were the top 10 most beautiful cities in Mozambique. Thanks for watching this video and if you did enjoy this video, do want to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.